Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Friday, January 15th. Uh, another positive day today, plus 551. Not quite over the $1,000 mark like I was hoping to get four days in a row over 1,000, but still green nonetheless at plus 551. Uh, so let's go over the day, uh, trades for the day and then I'll recap the week. On the Mighty 90s, just took two trades, one in Netflix, a small winner, and then a loser in Tesla. So uh, one for one on the Mighty 90s. No pairs trades. And then on the runners, really good day, uh, plus uh, five winners and the, just one one loser. Uh, DKNG, plus 244. NEO, plus 285. PINS, 168. Our biggest loser was Roku, minus 475. Uber, 295. And WIN, 190. Now that Roku trade, as I'll show you, we actually were down significantly more. We were down about 1100 bucks. Uh, paired that back, so still took a loss of 475, but uh, kind of a win in my book, being, bringing that back to where it, uh, where it ended up based on where we were. So let's go over the trades, and then I will recap the week for you. Starting with, let's go with the Mighty 90s and start with Netflix and uh, Tesla. So let's see, let's minimize win here. So Netflix. Netflix had this uh, had this initial this big push down here. We got long right here, which is was a really good entry, and it looks like it had a great bounce. The options just the calls that we had just were not paying us in relation to the size of the bounce of the stock price in my mind. But we ended up getting out just right here and booked seventy dollars. A small small win in Netflix. In Tesla, Tesla was a, a loser of two twenty six. And the reason why is it made this great push and we were getting a higher volume. So we got, we, but we started getting long like right here, right at yesterday's open and it kept pushing. Now, typically in this case, I will scale in and add some more size. Uh, and, and, you know, the market was just getting really weak. So I was just being a little bit patient and then it started to bounce. Uh, we just got up here. So it was, it was below where we got in. So we just took a loss on that trade in Tesla. Had I added, we could have turned it into a, into a positive trade, but Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Um, now on the runners, let's go to DKNG to start. Uh, we had a nice runner in Donkey Kong for plus 244. So it had this big flush lower, massive volume. When it bounced, we got short right here and caught this move down here. We got out of most of our trade right here. Still had a little piece on. It bounced hard on us. And finally, when it pushed above this pivot, I just bailed on that last piece, but still booked a nice winner of 244. Uh, in NEO, now NEO is one that we don't trade a lot, uh, but we caught a $285 winner in NEO. And kind of a similar concept, had this flush down, massive volume spike on the, when it bounced up. We got short here, and I just I just got out after it uh, gave us a couple red bars in our favor, so plus 285 there. Uh, another one that we don't trade very much is PINS. This was called out by one of the members in our live stream. Uh, and so... Pins, kind of the very same thing, you know, big volume spike here, got short on this bounce and just took a piece out of it. Now we, we stayed in this for a while. We got ahead of our last piece right here. I was just done watching this consolidate and wouldn't you know it, right after we got out, it flushed again on our last piece, but we got out of our last piece right there. Uh, but still booked a profit in pins of plus 168. Roku, let's go to Roku. This was our biggest loser and I'll show you what we did here. Uh, so we had this, uh, on this initial move up, we had this pretty big volume spike here. And so instead of playing it like a mighty 90, we played it like a, uh, an upside runner. And so we waited for this pullback and so got long right here. As you can see, it, it just kept flushing. So we added a little bit here and then we waited, waited, waited. And then we, um, I think it was, I think it was right here. No, it was, anyway, I can't remember if it was right here, right here. Anyway, we, no, it was right here. We, we added our last time right here, caught this bounce. And so we got back a lot of that, but we were out of the trade right there. We were out of the long trade right there. And we were down about $1,100 total. Now, we, we got this volume spike right at that point. And so we turned around and got short right there uh, and ended up being doing really well. At this point, when it was down here, we got out of a bunch of that. And at that point, we were back to even on, on Roku for the day got back all of our losses. Now we still had a piece on it, it came up and then it just chopped around, chop, 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 and finally rolled over. We got out of our last piece right here and that was pretty painful to, to stay in all day. Got it, didn't get out till 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, but paired it back a little bit, ended up uh, taking a loss overall on Roku of minus 475. But after being down 1100 at one point, um, that, was a, that was a win. Uh, Uber, 
plus 295. If we take a look at Uba. So right after we got off the live stream, uh, I alerted our members. We had this big volume spike right here in Uber. So we were looking for a pullback. Ended up getting long right here and then added it a little bit right here and rode this thing back up. And so we took a winner in Uber of 295. In win, our last one, took a winner of 190. And win was a, uh, let's see, oh yeah, big volume spike right here. Waited for this bounce, got short, got out of most of it right here. And then just kind of chopped around, ended up getting out of the last of it right there, I believe. So plus 190 and win. So those are all the trades for the day, plus 551 for the day. Let me uh, let me bring back my sheet, and I'll give you a recap for the week. So on the mighty 90s uh, for the week, did plus uh, 1,729 on 14 trades with a nice win rate of 71.4. Uh, no pairs trades this week. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, no pairs trades this week. And then on the runners, booked over $2,900 on 22 trades with a fantastic win rate of 72.7. We're usually around kind of 50, 55, 60, 65 on our, as far as a win rate on our runners, but we, we added a new one this week. So we've really got three setups that we look at for runners and the, uh, using, using the volume in, in with the runner strategy that we're doing now really helped improve, uh, our performance this week. And so if you take a look here, we only had one little red day on Monday of minus 39, Tuesday plus 660, Wednesday over a thousand over 600 yesterday and then over 700 today. So great week overall. If we go to the summary page, so let me open this up a little bit more. So on the mighty 90s now, going all the way back to August 31st, we are, let me make this a little bigger. Going back to August 31st, we're up 8,300 on the mighty 90s. Uh, Paris trades, we just have not been doing them. Um, uh, I have, I've, I've been looking for opportunities, just not comfortable with them, uh, but not, not as much focus on them for sure. So just, you know, plus 323, no, no, uh, pairs trades for the week on the mighty or the runners. Uh, now we're up over almost 32,000 in runners and, uh, and you can see that win rate uh, about 53% overall. So this win rate this week was, uh, really fantastic. And then overall pushed our overall P and L over 40,000. Uh, this week, uh, 842 trades in, and you can see a, a monster week overall, plus 4,698 on the week. Um, if we go back, I mean, that's the best week that we've had going back until September 14th, where we had a $7,000 week and a $5,000 week before that. Just caught some monster runners over that couple-week period. Uh, but this week, uh, good split, good profits in the Mighty 90, good profits in the um, in the runners. Uh, for a fantastic week overall. So look forward to building on that next week. Don't forget, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so there's no no live stream. The market is closed, so there won't be any alerts or anything. But uh, take a good recharge, work on your trading, work on your mindset, and we'll be back at it Tuesday in the live stream room. Cheers, everybody. Have a good weekend.